We have just got our first bits of information about the new Earth Avatar series. We also have some other stuff in this video, such as some pretty disappointing news about the voice actors being replaced, and we also have a deep dive into the future of the Avatar franchise. And trust me, you're going to want to hear that one. So stay here until the very end, hit the subscribe button while you're at it, and without further ado, let's jump into it. For those of you who didn't watch my last video, you might not know that it's been widely reported that there is an Earth Bender Avatar series in the works. Yes, the Earth Bending Avatar after Korra. This series will start airing in the same exact year as the adult Aang animated movie, which is stated to be coming out October 10th, 2025. So that means this series has to come out in either November or December. If you made me guess how they're going to be announcing this series, I would guess it's going to be a surprise a uh, post credit scene after the Aang movie. Here's what we know about the series that I didn't mention in my last video. Now, I want to make this very, very clear. This is a rough estimation and may not be true, but it makes a lot of sense. This new series is likely going to take place in our current era. So sometime before 2030, if Korra dies at exactly 100 years old, which isn't unreasonable considering Aang's total lifespan was 166 years old, Kyoshi's was over 200, etc 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 and that would mean the new earth avatar series will take place in 2025 the exact year as the show is being aired which would also make him the same exact age as ang 12 years old one this would be super nostalgic to all of the old fans and it's also sort of a homage to ang in a way but it would also be pretty unique to see a story written about a bender in our current time with our technology we got to see a little bit of that in Korra, but that was more like 1930s new York vibes. I really like this idea and it does make a lot of sense. However, nothing is really that simple with Avatar. The creators like to always go the hardest possible route with this franchise and I don't know why. Nothing is ever as simple as, let's do something that makes sense. After the cartoon finished airing, they were like, hey, let's sign off on a live action series. Then when that failed, Nickelodeon was like, hey, do you want to make a movie about Zuko? And they were like, no, let's make a whole new series based on a whole new avatar that no one's ever heard of before and let's place her in 1930s new york and we all know how rough that was now i really liked Korra, but there were a lot of difficult moments to get through it seems like the creators always wanted to make more of a sci-fi like series sort of similar to cowboy bebop even looking at the atla concept art you can see it i feel like there is a chance we get this futuristic sci-fi avatar series which if it's done perfectly it can work i just personally don't want it. Even a modern day avatar is risky. They'll inevitably have to touch upon some political things like they did in Korra, which according to most people, they didn't really do that well. The future of Avatar is looking the brightest it has ever looked. We have a pretty good layout for what the future of Avatar is going to look like for the next five years, and it includes a lot of animated projects that we have been desperately lacking for years. But there's something that you guys have been desperately lacking. And that brings me to today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN, also known as a virtual private network, that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies and cyber criminals. You guys are always commenting, saying stuff like, why isn't Avatar on Netflix anymore? Licensing shows between countries is complicated. You can fix this by downloading Surfshark VPN and changing your location to the US or UK. And you'll have access to Avatar again, along with many different shows. Surfshark has a clean web feature that blocks ads, yes, ads, trackers, malware, and even phishing attempts, allowing you to browse the internet safely. This is one I use pretty much every single day. Surfshark also has a feature to where one account will work on an unlimited amount of devices. And trust me, I've tested it. So what are you guys waiting for? To get all of this, use my code avatars at checkout and for the rest of December, get 85% off plus three extra months free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there really is no risk to try it out. The link is in the description down below. And thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Now, to simplify things, I'm going to be combining the Netflix projects and the Avatar Studios projects in this timeline, but both entities are separate and not working together. I know a lot of people get that confused, so I'm making that clear now. Sometime in 2023, we are going to be getting season one of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender live action. This live action is stated to be faithful to the original, but will have some changes such as expanding upon the past avatars and other minor things like that. The casting looks great, they have a massive budget and 
and most importantly of all, everybody working on the series is a fan of the original, and I am super excited. Sometime in 2023, we are also going to be getting Azula in the Spirit Temple, a solo Azula comic that takes place sometime after Smoke and Shadow, probably even after Imbalance. Sometime around that, we are also going to be getting a core comic book trilogy. One of the comics being confirmed in this trilogy is a Mako comic book. It is highly likely that we are getting a sequel to the Yang Chan book in 2023, but this one isn't confirmed like the other ones are, but it is likely. We are also confirmed to be getting a story on free comic book day, and we also have this baby comic book coming out sometime this year that I've been trying my best to ignore because it showed up in free comic book day last year and it just wasn't good. Of course, we are going to be getting games coming out as well in 2023. Sometime in quarter one, hopefully, we are going to be getting a global release of Avatar The Last Airbender Quest for Balance. This is an RPG that uses that cell shaded kind of art style that The Legend of Zelda uses. Uh, this was supposed to be released November 8th of this year. However, it was delayed for unknown reasons. A lot of fans speculate that the creators just wouldn't approve it because the game wasn't good. However, that is not confirmed. I'm hoping for an announcement once all of this James Cameron stuff dies down, but who knows at this point. We also have a mobile RPG called Avatar Generations coming out very, very soon. I don't have an official release date for you guys, but I can say this. You're most likely going to see an official collaboration between this channel and that game some point in the very, very near future. 2024 is going to be a weird year for Avatar. Originally, all of the leaks had the Kyoshi movie coming out in 2024, then it was later changed to an Aang movie coming out in 2024. Then Paramount officially comes out and tells everybody that there's actually three movies in production, and the first one is the Aang movie coming out in 2025, so they changed it a whole year back. So as of right now, there is nothing confirmed for 2024. My cope prediction is we'll have a Kyoshi miniseries, but that is cope and not confirmed in any single way possible. That's just me really wanting something big to happen. Uh, what's likely going to happen, this is going to be a year full of Avatar press for Avatar Studios. Uh, they'll probably show up to Comic-Con and many more conventions, maybe hint at future projects, show title cards, official art, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get that MMORPG that was leaked earlier this year. Now, 2025 is when things start to get interesting. In 2025, we'll most likely have season 2 of the Avatar live action, along with the adult Aang movie. And then after that, we're going to be getting the Earth Avatar series. Currently, we have this movie, then series, split all the way up until 2027. So, 2025, movie, then series. 2026, movie, then series. 2027, movie, then series. As of right now, we don't know if all of the series are going to be tied together. For example, Earth Avatar season 1, then Earth Avatar season 2. We don't really know no. Speaking of movies and series, uh, the Zuko movie and the Kyoshi movie are back in Paramount Slate, but this time with an unknown release date. Avatar News seems to be thinking that these movies are probably going to be taking place outside of 2027. We now have an update to the whole voice actors being replaced thing. Dante Bosco is now confirmed to be reprising his role as Fire Lord Zuko. However, everybody else is out. Last time we speculated this based on leaks about the games, but now this is confirmed to be happening for the movies as well. There is currently a global casting call for Asian and indigenous voice actors and actresses to find the new adult team avatar. Again, I said it in my last video, I think it's silly to snub the original cast who clearly wants to reprise their roles. The original voice actress for Toph wants to be recasted. Suki's voice actress is literally Asian and she's not being recasted for whatever reason. It really seems like this whole we're going to make things right mindset with this whole voice acting thing is just a cover up to not pay the original cast their fair share. All of the original cast deserves to reprise their roles. Now, Kor's voice actress willingly gave up her role for an indigenous person to play Kor in the future. That is a completely different scenario. She gave up her role because she wants to. And other Avatar news, The Legend of Genji has been cancelled. In their statement, they basically said it's time for their team to begin a new journey and move on with their life, and that they're going to be stepping away to make room for the new Earth Avatar series. Which is disappointing pointing to here because they put so much work into this project, but I get it though. I really do. I get it. I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody on the team. Uh, you guys kept the fandom entertained for years when literally no one else would. So thank you for that. All right. Congratulations. You guys made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for doing that. It means a lot and I hope to see you all in the new year.